Hi guys, it's Sam here. Uh, thanks for watching my video today. So following on from my Valentine's themed videos that I'm putting up this week, um, this time I'm going to show you how to make this really sweet acetate um, lid um, long thin box which holds these tiny little love hearts. So I've done the one with the full size love hearts which was the one I posted um, a few days ago um, and then this one's just with the smaller ones. Um, I've been giving them to friends who um, are using them to take to school for their children um, to give to their valentines in school and things like that so um, I think that's quite cute. Um, yeah, fits in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a nice amount. And then I just finished it off with a couple of um, little stamps of the sweets in the same colours as the box. So just a nice simple box. You can obviously decorate it up more. You don't have to use it for the Valentine's theme. It can be used for anything. So it's a really nice um, sweet box. Or you could put a nice piece of jewellery in it with a nice... Um, you can get that kind of wadding you could line on the bottom and then you could lay the necklace or something over the top which would also be quite a nice um, idea so anyway crack on with this box so you will need these three pieces here so I'll just go through the measurements so the base so the yellow piece of card for the base you will need to measure at five and one eighths of an inch by nine and seven eighths of an inch um, the lid, which is the pink piece, will be three and a half inches by eight and one quarter. Um, and then the acetate will be one and five eighths of an inch by six and three eighths of an inch. So um, I'll go through them again when I use the card, but I'll also put it up on my blog, um, as I always do. Um, so first of all, let's get um, cracking making the box. So you need your yellow base piece and your scoreboard. So just move that to one side and bring this in. Okay, so first of all, all you're going to need um, on this one, this is the um, simple one, you just need to score at seven eighths of an inch and one and three fourths of an inch. And you need to do that on all four sides. So again, seven eighths of an inch and one and three fours. Seven eighths, one and three four. Seven eight, one and three four. So you can see there, there's the long piece. Sorry, there in the middle, which is the base um, of your card. Okay, so that's that one. So that's a nice easy one. While we've got the scoreboard out, if you grab your pink lid, okay, so scoring first along the long eight and a quarter um, piece of card, you want to score at um, three eighths of an inch, so just down there, seven eighths of an inch two and five eighths of an inch hold on let me just check that's right sorry no i'm just sorry i was reading the next line down before i went into that so the first two are right so th um three eighths of an inch seven eighths of an inch then seven and three eighths of an inch and then seven and seven eighths of an inch okay so that's how that should look just the two there then turn it onto the three and a half inch side and then you're going to score again at three eighths of an inch seven eighths of an inch then to two and five eighths of an inch and then to three and one eighths of an inch and that's what you should have okay so put that to there get rid of the board so going back to the base we'll stick with that first and oh just get that off me okay so we're just going to burnish all of our edges so just fold that one in like so and again it's a really simple base 
and you can use this same concept with a lot of the bases that you make for boxes. Okay, so that's what you want there. And then we're just going to cut. Um, so if we start along the shorter side first, so you just want to cut all the way down past the first score line and down to the second. Again, with the second, past the first one, sorry, down to the second. You're then going to cut this piece out. And again, cut that piece off there. Okay, then if you just shear off the sides. And again, shear off the sides on the top of that piece. Okay, so again on this side, you're just going to go all the way down, all the way down, cut that piece out, and again, cut across there, and again, just take a little bit off each of those sides. It just makes it easier when you fold it all together, and again, off of this top bit there. Okay, so you can see there that's the finish that you want. Just then go to the sides and just take off there and like so. And then we're just going to repeat that exact thing on the other end. So again, all the way down, again on this side here, take that out. Oh, that piece there. And then just tidy all those edges. That one. That one. That one. We'll do that side while we're there. And then the last one. So I'll just place that down there, so that's the finished piece that you want to have. Okay, right, so what we need to do with this is we're just going to um, stick down all the sides. So we're sticking um, sticky tape on the outside of these four here, and then we're going to stick on the insides of these ones here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some of my red tape for these tabs here. Um, I'm just going to put one piece on each one and then I can do the other bit. So that one. And again. And then just flip it over and I'm just going to do a piece. What we're going to do first is just grab one of the tabs and without all the static it sticks to me. That one like so. So just keep that one out of the way. Just fold it in and line that one up like so. And again with that one just pop it in and line it up. Okay. And then again with this end, so just take it off the two, two tabs. It's much easier to remove these um, off the red tape than it is the double sided. So again, just line, line that one up and that one as well. Okay, so that's what you'll have. Now we just want to fold in all these sides just to reinforce the box so it's stronger. 
So we'll just start with the edges. She says, third attempt. Okay, just fold that one in. Again. Sticks everywhere. Another piece there as well. Okay, fold that one in. And then the sides. Like so. And the last one. Like that. Then what I'm going to do is just grab your... Sorry, I've got them all a little bit stuck to me. Get your burnishing tool and just go around all those edges and just really push it down. Just to make sure you get a really nice sharp edge and all that tape is secure. Like so. And then I'm just going to go around the sweets. I do it now when I've got them. So these ones are a little bit different, we'll just pop them all in ready for when we put the lid on. Like, what have I got there? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, should I have one more? There we go. Eight. So, there you go. So that's the base completed. So, just pop that to one side. Now we move on to our, get all these bits out of the way, our lid. So with this piece here, this is going to have the, um, the acetate window in, which I put down somewhere and I can't see it. So that's this one here. So with the acetate, you usually get a side where they put a protective film on. So I'm just going to remove that piece. There we go. If you don't do that, you'll find you'll end up catching it or scratching it and um, later on when it's already on the project and then it'll be harder to get off. But you can see there you've got a nice um, clear piece of acetate. So this is going to sit, that's the lid, this is on, um, that's the top, sorry, it's underneath. It's going to sit inside that piece there. But first of all, we need to cut out the frame. Now, I haven't got the um, a long enough rectangle frame to... Um, to just do it in one go. So what I've got is a nest of rectangle frames um, by Spellbinders and what I decided to do in the end so I could get that long window is put it through my die cut there and then move it again and put it through um, again. Um, the one thing I did get but it's such a minor um, is on this. I don't know if you can probably even see. There's a slight little piece there where it's just kind of dented it. Now I think on different card you may not see that, but I think because this is that shimmery card that I've got it just there. I mean again, the perfectionist in me has picked that up, but I know most people would look at it and not even notice it, so I'm not too worried. But it is on my list of something to buy, um, and that's a longer, um, some longer rectangles and thin ones for these kind of projects. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that through my die cut machine, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll just show this piece here just so you can see how I've done it. So I just added that one in um, to take out that last piece. So, yeah, again, very minor. But it's just kind of picked up a piece there. You can just see it. But it's minor enough that it doesn't bother me. Um, but just in case anybody does mention it or um, has any... Um, longer rectangles that they can recommend to me that I can buy so I don't have that happen I can just do it in one go then that would be great but um, there we go so that's that done so that's your window so your acetate will sit nicely now behind that so what we need to do is I've got the real thin red tape if you've got that then great um, or you can use some snail and just kind of come off the edges um, because if you do it too wide it will show in this window and you'll have the sticky on this side and it won't look nice. So I'm just going to add this really thin tape around the sides and get it as close to that edge as possible because like I said you don't want any of it showing through the other side. And then just 
cut on the end. Oh, that one and last one. Okay. So just push those all down all in place. Right, and just peel this all off. sticking to me so make sure you've got it up the right way one side is um, it is slightly different on this card so that's the underside so just turn your acetate over and just if you get the edges in first the um, sorry this the smaller end here line that in place and then the rest you can just push down and there we go got that just in at the end perfectly okay so you can see there sits inside that long rectangle perfectly. Okay, so just turn it over and just really push it down again. It's all in place and now we're going to burnish all of these sides um, ready to stick it together. So just fold it in. The reason I do it with do the acetate first and then burnish after is because you can get a really crisp finish against the acetate that's already now in place. Um, it doesn't matter if you want to do it before um, but that's just the way I just thought it I had a better finish with it, a neater finish. Right, that one again, you can get it right up to that edge. And this does fold really, really well. It's a really good quality. It doesn't crack, it's really thick and great value for money. And it, I mentioned it in one of my past videos. This is from this is the linen um, metallic card that I picked up from the pound shop and I brought packs and packs of it because I knew I'm going to get a lot of use from it and it just works really well with my products. So for a pound, for 18 um, pieces, um, 18 sheets in a pack, I think it's great. So again, doing exactly the same cutting as we did on the base. Um, you just want to, again, cut right the way down to that second score line again on that side. Take that out and take that one out. And again, just slightly notch out all of the sides. So I'm just going to whiz through this piece now for you. Okay. So that's how your lid should look with all the sides and all the notches cut out. So again, exactly the same um, with the sticking. So we're going to stick the outside of these ones here and the inside of the longer ones there. So again, I'm just going to quickly whiz through this for the video. Okay, so we just go through, oh, I didn't even notice I'd done that, sorry, I didn't take off that piece. Start again, there we go. Okay, so we start with the tabs first, so again, exactly the same as the base. And just line that up like so. And this end. I literally, it is attaching to everything. It's so static. Okay. Like 
looks like. And then just draw the inside bits. So again, just want to burnish all those sides, really push down that red tape and make it really nice and sharp on the edge and it just makes the lid fit even better. Like so. Okay, grab that one. And there we go, literally a perfect fit. It's so nice, you can just feel it sits on there really nicely. Okay, so all we need to do now is just finish with a little detail. So I've just got two pre-cut um, stamps, um, which are from the same stamp set I used before. Oops, sorry, it's all upside down. Truly Scrumptious, which is from Creative Stamping Magazine. It was last month's um, issue, and it's just these ones here with the different sentiments that you can choose to put inside. On this occasion, I've chose Kiss Me and Love You. So I'm just going to grab a couple of dimensionals. I'm just going to cut these down again so they go a little bit further. And just put one on the back of that one. And so. Oh, that's come off. Okay. So I'm going to pop Kiss Me there. And... I love you on top. And there we go. Finished box. So there's the two. And I think they're really, really nice, sweet little gifts um, to give to the one you love. So again, if you loved my uh, video today, please hit the like button. And um, to see more of my designs, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.